All right, guys. So in this video, we are going to be talking about what I can't do anymore. So I can't do the single life no more. I can't do it. Not on the, not on that truck. So on this truck here, to you guys, I changed the engine basically for the YouTube channel. Um, put a stock engine in it. All basically, the only thing is done to this engine is it has six by ten injectors in it. Uh, 60 pound valve springs. The head is O-ringed and studded. I rebuilt the cylinder head just because, well, when in Rome. Um, and we have a K27 on it. Ah, uh, I guess I should. It has a BD intercooler in it. Well, in it as well. Now that was on there in the truck prior, and I didn't have a good used one, a stock one, or I probably would have put that in just for argument's sake. Anyways, I can't deal with the single turbocharger. I just can't do it. So, we're going to put compounds on this. So, I... Uh, we're going to put compounds on the truck. So, leaving the K27, we're going to flip the manifold. Going to leave the K27, we're going to flip the manifold. Get it up higher. And the turbo that I'm going to put on is not an s4 and that not s369 not a huge fan of that combination myself personally i think the s369 is a little bit too small myself personally take it with a grain of salt i know lots of guys that have them and love them i personally think they're a little bit too small i think it's too small but like i said what do i know so turbo and unboxing we are going to be working on that i believe I really want to start it right away, but I got a few more things to finish on the first gen. So we might do that first and then start working on that next week. We'll see what happens. But I got all the stuff, True North Turbos. Uh, Nick over there set me up with a turbocharger um, that I wanted. I got some fancy turbo drains. These things are pretty sick. Because that is one thing I hate is doing the turbo drains on these things. So that is the turbo drain, his turbo drain. Really nice aluminum piece. I think it's nice anyway, has the O-ring in it. This is a Dash 12, which is bigger than most guys are gonna run. I wanted the Dash 12 so that I can run the big line down to the oil pan, but that was the reason for that. Same one, I'm gonna use the same one on the shorty, which I actually have, it came in this same box. Um, so we'll be doing the turbo drain on that. I gotta do the feed on it. Uh, we got a few things to get as well. So, but that's the turbo drain. This is all the inlet outlet flange. So these are the flanges to weld onto the pipe for outlet and for the down pipe. All this stuff is right on his website. We do have a code on his website as well, which gives you 5% off everything except for turbochargers. Um, it's cutter up all capitals. I'll put it up. I'll put it in the link below and there. Um, flange, this is one of the the takeoffs, I guess you would say, or whatever. So it has a little drill hole here for some reason. I'm not sure what somebody was doing there, but that's okay. Uh, it'll work perfect for what I want, but it's a nice piece. Um, he does have actually really nice ones that are like billet pieces, um, but they were just, I would probably use one, like if I was doing the, the turbo setup on this truck again, I would probably use one. And when this gets compounds, not a spoiler loop, but when this gets compounds, uh, I'll probably use one on it. But they're super fancy. I'll put a I'll put a picture up here. Really nice pieces, but they're not cheap. But that's okay. Um, the reason I want to do this like this was I'm going to keep track of everything, what everything costs for you guys. So that if you wanted to do compound yourself, as long as you have a welder, you have to be able to weld or have a friend that can weld, um, that you'd be able to do it. So. I'm going to give a couple different options for turbos. Well, you can do whatever you want, but just a couple different options depending on where you are for turbochargers, all that jazz. So the base to start with, we're going to use that K27. This is a 76 compressor. Here, let me get the, I think it'll have the invoice in here. Comes with flan or a gasket. And a turbo drain if you're not using their fancy turbo drain. 
package it nice. One thing with turbos, they're usually packaged really good, which is a nice feature because when they're not packaged good, that's a bad deal. Turbo drains. There's the other turbo drain. These are the Dash 10s. Not that there's anything. They're exactly the same. Well, I shouldn't say exactly the same. I guess the shape of the O-ring is different, which I knew, but that's same company. Really nice pieces, especially for the price. I think they're $45 Canadian. They're not, and that's pretty cheap. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, oh, that's really expensive. That's not really expensive for this type of stuff. You can do drains different ways, um, and I will give you other options if you want to do it different way. Um, completely up to you. This is just the way that I'm gonna do it. You don't have to do it that way. All right. Here is the turbocharger. So, actually, hold on, let me grab my phone, whatever I did with it. This turbo is an S476, uh, and the turbine is an 8782 with a 1-1 housing on it, and it's still a T4 flange. I wanted the T4 flange uh, just so that if I ever wanted to run it on something else, and it doesn't need to have a ginormous housing on it either, especially for the power level that we're going to run on this truck, but does have a nice built it does have a billet wheel in it they're nice nice looking billet wheels he does um balance the uh, the complete assembly they are nice pieces but you know typical turbocharger so that is the whirly bird that we're going to put on to there for the second one so it will be a 60 mil over a 76 mil and like I said before, I'm not it's not a huge fan. The S369 is a nice turbo, don't get me wrong, but it's not the turbo that I prefer to use. Eventually, when we get a dyno, um, I will do some testing because I'm actually curious myself. I have run one of the, I have run a truck with an S369 on it. It was uh, actually a Boxster 58 with an S369 on it, and I wasn't a huge fan of it. It worked awesome down down on the low RPM. But as you got into higher RPM and you know towing at a higher speed, it just ran out of steam. And I, I, that's where I want the compounds to come on myself personally. So it just doesn't make sense for me to do that. If it's a setup that works for you, awesome. Uh, just not how I want it to work. So, but that was something I was gonna say. When we get the dyno, I would like to actually try some different setups. The thing is we're not quite there yet. Um, just is what it is for now. But as soon as I can get a dyno, as soon as I can feasibly get a dyno and be able to run the dyno for you guys and do a bunch of cool testing and stuff, I will have one as soon as that's a feasible thing. So when I get a dyno, you'll understand. But I want to do a bunch of videos and I know lots of people like, oh, well, everybody's already done dyno videos. A lot of them aren't going to do dyno videos that I, I want to do it. And I know lots of guys are going to be like, oh, well, this is boring. That's cool. If you're just looking for blowing drive shafts and blowing black smoke in the dyno videos, don't get me wrong, there'll be a few of those. But a lot of it's going to be like a data-driven thing. Kind of like, I can't think of the guy's name. He does a lot of LS stuff and turbos and cams. I can't think what his name is. I'll, I'll link it. I'll put, the, I'll put his, his YouTube channel up here. I can't think of his. I want to say his. Hmm, I wish I could remember his name because that boggles me. Anyways, he does a lot of stuff like that, and that's the same kind of thing I would like to do with Cummins and Cummins, all the different ones, whether it be 12 valves and changing heads and, and common rails and, and VP44s, all that jazz, uh, because there's a lot of information in there that I think that has went to the wayside over the years. So anyways, not to get the video too long. Anyways, that is what we got going on. So I can't do it anymore. I just can't. We got to put compounds on this thing. Now, that being said, I do want to do some more testing before we do this. So that may be a hindrance. We might not be able to do it for another week, but I need to use a truck for towing next week. And so I would really like the compounds on there. So I guess I got to do some testing. 
So I found my draggy. We're gonna put the draggy on the truck, do some pulls, uh, keep track of temperatures and all that jazz. And then we're gonna put that turbo on there. We'll do the exact same pulls again. And it'll give us a general idea. Obviously the temperature might be a little bit different or whatever. Hopefully it'll actually be warmer out, which should actually make the DA higher. Um, so that, that technically the truck shouldn't work as good. But uh, we are going to get after that real quick. Also, I'm gonna do a bunch of pump tuning, um, a video, probably two or three videos, maybe next week we'll drop um, on doing some pump tuning because I do wanna do in a little bit more pump tuning. I said I was going to and I haven't, that's my bad. Uh, I've just been busy, um, you know, only got so much time, right? So if you like this video, check out this video and catch you on the next one. Remember, it's not rocket science.